Welcome back to Remedy Science. Today, we're diving into an important topic, monkeypox. We'll cover what you need to know about its symptoms, causes, and how to prevent it. Let's get started. Symptoms Incubation Period The incubation period for monkeypox, which is the time between exposure to the virus and the appearance of symptoms, typically ranges from 7 to 14 days but can be as short as 5 days or as long as 21 days. Early Symptoms Fever A high fever is often one of the first symptoms, accompanied by chills. Headache Persistent headaches are common. Muscle aches and backache, generalized muscle pain and back pain are frequent. Swollen lymph nodes Lymphadenopathy, swelling of lymph nodes, is a distinguishing feature of monkeypox, which differentiates it from other similar illnesses like smallpox. Exhaustion A general feeling of fatigue and weakness is common. Rash The rash typically begins one to three days after the onset of fever. Appearance the rash starts as flat red spots that evolve into raised bumps. These bumps then become fluid-filled blisters, vesicles, which eventually form pustules, pus-filled lesions, and, finally, scabs. Location The rash usually begins on the face and then spreads to other parts of the body, including the limbs, palms, soles, and sometimes the genital area. Progression the rash goes through distinct stages, macules to papules to vesicles to pustules to scabs, over the course of about two to four weeks. Cause Virus Monkeypox is caused by the monkeypox virus, which belongs to the orthopoxvirus genus, the same family as the variola virus, which causes smallpox. Natural Reservoirs the virus is primarily found in rodents and non-human primates. Specific animals like squirrels, rats, and mice have been implicated as potential reservoirs. Transmission to humans Human infections occur when people come into direct contact with infected animals or their bodily fluids. This can happen through hunting, handling wild animals, or consuming bushmeat in regions where monkeypox is endemic. Respiratory droplets Prolonged face-to-face -face contact can lead to the transmission of respiratory droplets containing the virus. Direct contact Contact with infected skin lesions, bodily fluids, or contaminated materials such as bedding and clothing. Fomites Indirect transmission through contaminated objects, though this is less common. Prevention avoiding exposure. Wildlife. Avoid contact with or consumption of bushmeat and wildlife in areas where monkeypox is known to occur. Infected individuals. Avoid close contact with individuals who have symptoms of monkeypox. Personal hygiene. Wash hands frequently with soap and water, especially after potential contact with animals or infected individuals. Respiratory hygiene. Cover coughs and sneezes with tissues or the inside of the elbow, and dispose of tissues properly. Protective equipment. Use personal protective equipment, such as gloves, masks, and gowns when caring for patients with monkeypox. Isolation. Infected individuals should be isolated from others to prevent the spread of the virus. Vaccination. Smallpox vaccination. The smallpox vaccine has been shown to provide some cross protection against monkeypox. In areas experiencing outbreaks or for high risk individuals, vaccination may be recommended. Availability. The use of smallpox vaccines for monkeypox prevention may be subject to public health recommendations and vaccine availability. Treatment Supportive care 
There is no specific antiviral treatment for monkeypox. Treatment mainly involves supportive care, such as managing symptoms, preventing complications, and providing hydration. Antiviral medications In some cases, antiviral medications used for smallpox, like tecoviramat, may be considered based on clinical judgment and availability. If you suspect you have monkeypox or have been in contact with someone who has, it's important to consult with healthcare professionals for accurate diagnosis and appropriate care. Stay informed, stay safe, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more health updates. See you next time.